Darktable is powerful, but it's a little confusing for some of the newer people that started, even myself, including just a few months back whenever I started even using this program, it was a little intimidating and I didn't understand what most of the tools did. So I consolidated this down and I tried to make it a little bit easier for workflow. So let's go ahead and talk about three of those. First up, let's talk about custom module groups. By default, Darktable gives you a lot of tools and most of them you'll probably never use. So instead, you can build your own group with just the modules you actually touch every day or every time you come into the program. And for me, that's things like exposure, tone equalizer, color balance, crop, and rotate. So now that you set your own custom preset for the modules, you want to scroll through endless modules to find what you want to use and experimenting with the other ones. However, I do you know, suggest that you try to experiment with some. Maybe there's some that'll be fun to mess with, but these are the ones I find are most useful to me and I'll experiment with the other ones sometimes with other photos or if I have downtime. Instead of scrolling through endless menus, I've got my go-to tools right in one place and clean, simple, and way faster. It's just one preset and I can always go to the other ones later if I want to experiment with anything else. And next are styles. Now this is something you might know as a, like a preset or something like that. Uh, so this is probably my favorite time saver. It's let's say you want to edit a photo with a warm look to it and you've already got that from another photo. If you save that style, you'll be able to put those on other photos when you bring them in. So instead of it doing the same steps over and over, you can save it as a style. So whenever I pull up another photo, I just apply the style and there it is. It looks instantly the same way as the other one did. And this is especially helpful if you've got a whole batch of photos for the same shoot and you want to have a consistent look through all of them. And finally, a couple of keyboard shortcuts to keep things moving. So if you hit tab, it actually gets rid of all of the side panels. So you can actually see just the photo on your uh, monitor. It gives you a second to kind of look through it, see if there's anything you like or don't like on a bigger image. And of course there's control Z. So if you make a mistake, that's just undoes it. I mean, I feel like every program has that, but just to call it out in case anyone doesn't know, if you hit control Z, it'll go back on what you had done previously in the timeline that you have done them. And there we have it. So now we've gone through custom modules, styles, and keyboard shortcuts. A lot of these, while they seem kind of trivial and very easy, once you've got them placed in, they are an invaluable tool to save you lots of time. And we all know that's something you need more of. Try setting these up for your next edit, and I want to hear about your experience. And if you could, just leave a comment down below. Maybe hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of any future videos. And I'll see you in the next one.